All right. Hello, everyone. So we are in chapter 12 in my review. So this means, guess what? We are at the very end of our math book. So I want to congratulate you because that is really exciting. So we are going to work on my review, which is on page 725. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to draw a line from each vocabulary word to a shape that matches the word. We're gonna draw a box around the objects shaped like a sphere. Okay, let's start first. We are going to draw a line from sphere, the word sphere, to a sphere. Do you see a sphere somewhere? I do, there's the ball. So we're gonna draw a line, sphere to the ball. Okay. This word says cube. We're going to draw a line from the word cube to a cube. Do you see one? I do. I see the ice box or the ice chest. Draw a line. Okay. Now we are going to draw a line from this word, which says cylinder, to the cylinder, which I see a cylinder trash can. So I'm going to draw a line. Now we're going to draw a line from this word to a cone. This word says cone. I see a cone all the way up there. Draw a line. Okay, so now we're going to draw a box around the objects that are shaped like a sphere. So here is our sphere. We're going to draw a box. Do you see any other shapes that look like they are a sphere? I do. The sun looks like a sphere. So draw a box around the sun. Now we are going to draw an X on the objects that are shaped like a cube. We know that this ice chest looks like a cube, so we're gonna draw an X. Do we see any other cubes? I do not. Now, moving on to our next shape. We're going to draw a line under the object shaped like a cylinder. So, we know this looks like a cylinder, this trash can, so we draw a line. I see that this cup looks like a cylinder. Do you see any other cylinders? Yeah, over here. I have one, two, three, four. Four cylinders. Okay, and then last but not least, we're going to circle the objects that look like a cone. So you know cone looks like this, so we're going to circle the cone. Do you see any other cones? I do. They look like actual traffic cones. Circle one, two, three, four. Nice job. So we've circled five cones. One, two, three, four, five. We've underlined six cylinders. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've X'd out one cube, one, and we've boxed two spheres, one, two. Very nice. Okay, let's turn the page. All right, so for number one, we are going to name the shape and compare it to the shapes of the objects in the row. We're going to circle the matching shape. So this is a cylinder. It can slide, it can roll, and you can stack it. It is roundish on the side and kind of shaped like a bunch of circles stacked on top of each other. Do you see another cylinder? I do. It's the can of tomato sauce. So go ahead and circle it. Okay, number two. 
this is a sphere. This sphere rolls. You cannot stack it and you cannot slide it. It's shaped like a ball. Do you see another shape like a sphere? This orange. That's right. Go ahead and circle it. Okay. So for number three, we're going to name the shape and then circle the shapes in the row that can stack the same way. So this is a cylinder and you can stack a bunch of cylinders on top of each other. Maybe if you have in your pantry a bunch of cans, you can stack them on top of each other. We are going to circle the shapes that you can stack on top of each other. Can you stack a sphere? No. You can definitely stack a cylinder though. Can you stack a cube on top of each other? Ah, like blocks. So we can circle the cylinder and the cube. Number four, we're going to circle, we're going to name this object, which is the cone, and then we're going to circle the shapes that in the row that roll. Can a cube roll? No. But can a cylinder roll? Yeah, so go ahead and circle the cylinder. If you take a can, you can roll it on the floor. What about a cone? Can a cone roll? Yeah, it can. So we've circled our cylinder and our cone because those two can roll. And number three, we circled our cylinder and our cube because they can stack. Very nice. Okay, we're going to turn the page. All right, so for this one, I am going to have you color it, whatever color you want, but I'm going to explain it to you first. So, we're going to name all the different shapes that we see, and then I want for you to color each shape differently. So, all of these balls of yarn look like what shape? A sphere, right? So I want you to color all of the spheres one color. These, these ribbons look like what kind of shape? A cylinder, right? So I want you to color all of the cylinders a different color. What do these shapes look like? They look like cones, right? Okay. So I want you to color the cones their own color. So that's three colors so far. And then finally, these boxes. What color do these boxes look like? Or these boxes look like a cube, right? And so I want you to color the boxes a fourth color. So you're going to have one color for your spheres, one color for your cylinders, one color for your cones, and one color for your cubes. And I cannot wait to see what colors you choose. All right. Thank you so much. We learned so much about these three-dimensional shapes, about our cylinders, our cones, our spheres, and our cubes. You did awesome. Great job. Have a good rest of your day, and have fun coloring.